It's a good idea to rotate your service accounts in your Windows Server every so often. But if you have hundreds of service accounts across thousands of servers, then it may be a heavy administrative burden if you had to manually update all these service account passwords on every server. Therefore, we can use group managed service accounts to handle that for us. The password is going to be managed by Active Directory and is automatically rotated on each host every 30 days. We just need to type a couple of commands to get started. The first one is going to be the add-kds root key. And that commandlet will generate a new root key for Active Directory to use. It's only necessary to do this one time per forest. The next command will be the new dash ad service account called ms account one on our domain controller. And that's going to create a new group managed service account called ms account one. Next, I'll need to go into Server Manager, Tools, Administrative Center. Inside Active Directory Administrative Center, I'm going to locate the Manage Service Accounts. Double click on that. And there's our MS Account 1, which we just created. I'm going to right click and choose Properties on MS Account 1. Next, we'll go to Add and add the computer DCO1. So I'll need to switch over to computers by checking the computers box. Type DCO1 and click OK. And I'll give it full control. Next I'll need to click OK at the bottom and I'll need to restart this server and then we can continue. I'm logged back into my server and I'm going to type a new command. And it's going to be to set the AD service account. The identity is going to be the new MS account one. And it's going to allow to retrieve managed passwords to the DCO1 server. It allows us to modify the properties of the service account. In this case, the parameter we're using allows this server to retrieve the password from Active Directory and update it wherever it's being used locally. Now I'm going to go to Server Manager, go to Tools, and open up services. I've scrolled down to one of the services. We'll pick offline files. And I'll go to properties, log on, and I'll choose this account. Now I can go to browse and just type in the account name. Click check name, and it finds it, and then it adds it in. And now I'll click OK. The account has been granted the logon as a service. And now we can see it's going to log on as this particular new service account. This will run the specific Windows service that I've selected using the security context for this specific user account. The password for the service account is going to be managed by Active Directory and will be automatically rotated.